you join us today on the M4 in England. Uh, here's proof, and also proof it isn't just grey and murky in Wales. Look at it, it's uh, very overcast and miserable. But we are on a mission today in the Primera, and it's proving to be um, fairly good as a motorway cruiser. Uh, falling sl down slightly on seat comfort for both of us, I think. Yeah, and yeah, and uh, but otherwise, uh, the mirrors are brilliant. The controls are just in the right place. It just feels nice. Very easy to maintain a consistent speed, even though there's no cruise control. Uh, nice visibility. I, I'm liking the experience, if I'm entirely honest. More than perhaps I expected. We're doing 3,000 uh, revs at about 70, I think. Doing indicated 75, so that's probably about 70 miles an hour. And yeah, feels very comfortable. Feels like it would do this all day, quite happily. I'm not sure my bottom no no my back is starting to ache a bit but then it's so long since we've been anywhere it's been uh, a very long time since we hit the road in anything it's quite across the border. yes that was the first time i'd crossed the border since just before christmas and uh, even longer for you August? yeah quite possibly oh i think we might oh, i'm trying to remember when we celebrated ellie's anniversary that was august as well i think we had a brief foray to Birmingham for that. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Mm. So we got a few things done last summer, but yeah, it's been very much a period of lockdown. But and now, very out... much the in between bit where it's been normal again. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're underway, and um, it's going well. Really enjoying the drive, bar that seat comfort. And a uh, few more miles to go. Uh, do some recording, and then head back to Wales again. Day two of our Primera mission. We are heading back to Wales now, and uh, this has been going very well. We um, saw backsides are an issue, are yes, they not? Very much so. Very much so. Somebody suggested I might need a large cushion for my bottom. Oh, we've got to get a cushion at all. So that went really well. Yeah, we just stopped for lunch. Uh, must be said, that was a very satisfying great meal. Uh, the joys of life on the road. But the Primera is going well and it's getting really good fuel economy as well. It did uh, 37 mpg on the previous two tanks. And I think uh, because we're just cruising along at a constant speed, I think we're probably doing even better now. Which just goes to show this engine may lack low down grunt, but it makes up for it by not drinking all that much fuel at lower revs is therefore economical of sorts. Unlike the car we were in earlier, that wasn't economical. No. No, not so much. But I uh, look forward to telling you more about that on a future date. But for now we're heading back to Wales. The first round in Peggy de Primera seems to have been very successful. Uh, the only problem is I think we really do need to record more of what goes on in this car. <laughs> yes. The conversations we have are utterly ridiculous. And if only you could see Miss Hubner now hanging this little microphone uh, in the passenger seat, concentrating on the screen. Oh, I wish I could get a photo of that for you. It's a beautiful sight. <laughs> yeah, it's gone really well. Not a very interesting video because we've just been driving an awful lot. It was about six hours yesterday, six hours today. Caught up with some friends along the way yesterday and today, in fact. So. Uh, it's been good to get out and see folk again, uh, all in the name of work. What are you saying? Just demonstrating my position. All right. Squeak! Uh, we've just filled up, um, annoyingly at motorway services through bad planning on my part. Uh, but uh, according to my sons, this car has done 44 mpg on that last tank of fuel which is uh, frankly extraordinary i'm really pleased with that so good old we our way around the weirdest thing. yeah yeah this is swansea west it is the weirdest old layout ever but yeah peggy de primera is um doing very well i think uh, how do we get out uh, ah, this, looks this looks familiar but how do we, we this way so we're going to go that way because we're going to Carmarthen. 
or whatever the Welsh version of that is. Oh, there we go. Oh no, powered by fixie, fixie, uh, fairy dust rather. Man smoking at the wheel. Okay, so maybe his friends put that sticker on his car. Okay, I bet that'll be elitist against the fairies. Oh, look out, Hesley or Popo, <laughs> depending on your language. Yeah, it hasn't been a particularly exciting journey, really. We've listened to Radio 2 quite a lot. Uh, Steve Wright is now finished for the day, I think, so that's good news Sarah all around. Yay! So we're going to get back to the music. I might just open up the taps down the slip road, though. He says, get round to Ben first. Oh yes. Nice to actually open up the taps on this engine. I wish I'd cruise our way back in deeper into beautiful Wales. With a certain amount of discomfort, we have got back to Wales. We've done over 400 miles in the Primera. The Primera is filthy. It rained or something. There was a weird little rainstorm. So uh, she's absolutely covered in filth. After I washed her the other day, lovingly and with care, <laughs> she's she's filthy again. Shut up. The one bucket is the way to do it. Actually, I think you'll find. I'm not getting involved. No, it's dangerous. Don't get involved with the bucket debate. But yes, uh, turning out to be rather a splendid car, if a little uncomfortable for the longer journeys. So um, we need to work that out. We, we need to do something about that. We need more comfort on these journeys but uh yeah sorry there isn't all that much action in this one it's mostly us talking in a car being driven down a motorway but it is quite good at that so that's good so look forward to seeing you in a future video farewell